one who could pull. <gasps> oh my god, Spider-Man! Oh my god. Surprise me. And Miles? <gasps> They're together? What? Oh my god! Venom! It's Venom! Oh! Insomniac, what are you doing? I'm still nerding out over that Marvel Spider-Man 2 reveal at the PlayStation Showcase last night. Man, that was epic. But I got the thinking last night, even during the live stream, what if Marvel Spider-Man 2 has cooperative play? I did a little bit of digging on it, and well, it seems quite possible. While we unfortunately won't be able to get our hands on this masterpiece until 2023, Insomniac left us with plenty to salivate over. While I watched the trailer, watching Peter Parker Spider-Man and Miles Morales Spider-Man easily take out their adversaries, working together in sync, it made me wonder, what if Marvel Spider-Man 2 has the option to be played cooperatively? Now guys, this has not been verified yet by Insomniac, but based on what I saw last night and after I did a little bit of digging, I believe this is going to happen. Local and online co-op. In a tweet that was published way back in June, Insomniac was apparently hiring. But what's interesting about this application is that Insomniac was looking for positions to be filled on a multiplayer project. In the tweet, Insomniac is hiring. We have five new job openings for a multiplayer project. Come join us and be a part of the hashtag PlayStation Studios family as we work on exciting things. The specific position looking to be filled was for systems designer multiplayer, where the employee would be overseeing aspects of multiplayer features, mechanics, systems design, and more. And even right now, as I look at Insomniac Games' career opportunities page, that systems designer opportunity, well, it looks like it's still available as a publication. So if you're looking to work with Insomniac Games and you have experience like this, you might want to go ahead and apply, why not? But at this point, Insomniac Games doesn't really have any other multiplayer projects that they're working on, at least that they have announced. Which leads me to believe that this ambitious project of Spider-Man 2 will give the player the opportunity to fight cooperatively, online, or locally. This is a huge opportunity for Insomniac Games, and really, if you think about it, it's more of a no-brainer. It's only logical to see them work together in the next Spider-Man game. Other things I noticed within the trailer itself, that voice, I'm pretty sure it's Craven the Hunter. A lot of YouTubers have mentioned it. I even saw a couple articles floating around mentioning that the accent is probably resembling his voice. And who can forget about Venom? It was revealed that Tony Todd would be doing the voice work for Venom. Now, it hasn't been revealed if Venom will be Eddie Brock or somebody else. I would assume it would be Eddie Brock, but we'll have to see what Insomniac has to say about that in the coming months ahead. You guys have been noticing some things within the trailer as well. One of my new subscribers, Meliodas Plushy, had an awesome theory and observation that maybe the reason Miles' electricity is now blue is because of the new form that he absorbed. And that makes perfect sense based on the end of the game, how he absorbed nearly all of the new form. This in turn would make Miles even more powerful than he was in the Miles Morales Spider-Man game. So Plushy, I gotta say man, that is an awesome theory and a nice observation and I wanted to be sure to shout you out with that. What things did you guys notice? in the Spider-Man 2 trailer that maybe I didn't notice. Let me know down in the comment section below because I'm sure there's a lot more going on than we actually realize. Plus, it's always good to have more than one set of eyes on a trailer. I'll have more Spider-Man content in the months ahead, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more. I'm A to the P. Albert Perkins, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, and as always, peace.